though. You just mentioned the analyst day. And right. I understand you may have demonstrated the companion there in something I haven't seen elsewhere publicly. <clears throat> What happened there? What what was the demonstration that you made to the analysts? Sure. Well, um, at the analyst day in December, uh, what we showcased um, to um, our key analysts and um, um, reporters was um, the Sims AI technology, which has improved to a level where the AI engine can have real world conversations. So the Sims companion makes the conversational experience as natural as possible, allowing the people on the other side to speak normally, like you will talk to any other person without having to adopt to a machine. So what we uh, showcased was an actual recording of a, a CI, of a certain assistant, basically companion, calling a restaurant on behalf of the user. This is a restaurant in New York um, for which that recording was and having a very normal conversation to reserve a table. The call originated from a certain cloud um, and uh, once the reservation is confirmed, the information can then be displayed on the head unit or the user could be informed back by the phone um, or the email. So let me let me go ahead and play that for you guys, so you guys can have a real uh, experience on that. Okay, that'd be great. Hey, this is Carlos from Lincoln Square. Speak to Adonis from Malibu. Hello, I'm the Sarens companion calling on behalf of Brian to make a reservation for today at 9 p.m. Brian at 9 p.m. How many people? Yes, yeah, 9 p.m. How many people? Um, there will be two of us. Okay, this is actually really cool. I don't know. And um, the phone number, please. You can use 407-900-5141. Got you. 407-90. Can you repeat that, please? You can use 407-900-5141. Got you. And the name? It's Brian Rubin. Brian Rubin. For two guests at 9 p.m. on tonight? Yes, two people at 9 p.m. Inside or outside? Anywhere in the dining area. Gotcha. All right. You're good to go. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. No problem. So, so as you could see in this uh, uh, audio um, recording, it was, a, it was a real recording, as I said, uh, with a restaurant in New York. Um, the, the person on the other hand didn't knew that it was talking to an assistant at first, right? So when the, re the real reaction that, oh, cool, um, uh, it's an assistant on the other side, right. uh, a voice assistant that he's talking to was, was very natural. But at the same time, uh, what you might have also observed is that um, the companion now, uh, when it repeats the thing, like, for example, in the phone number, when the user only heard half of it, um, uh, the person on the other hand, it actually repeated the phone number again, but put more emphasis on the last four digits, which the person didn't get. Right. So the companion is not only just um, uh, engaging in a conversation, but also trying to understand what the other user's emotions and the context is uh, and can accordingly parse the information and, and uh, present back to the to the user what the user really needs to synthesize and take. Right. So that's another key thing um, as a part of the companion, as the, the using the AI uh, and deep learning where the systems are becoming much more natural in not only just con conversation, but also pre presentation of the information uh, back to the user in real time. 